Hey guys, it's Down Pro Pro here, and this is my first RPG Maker uh, video. Okay, funny thing, real quick. The internet is supposed to be off, but uh, I can only go to like a few sites for some reason, and that's only if I use HTTPS. I don't know why, but oh, excuse me. <laughs> but uh, I can go to YouTube, I can go to Facebook, maybe Twitter, Google, and Gmail, and maybe a few very rare other sites. All the other sites are blocked because it tells like Verizon comes up saying renew the service. Um, the funny thing is, I can also upload, but I can't watch a video. So it's it's really weird. I can upload, but I can't watch videos. But a Friday, everything will be back to normal. So it's good. It's gonna be good. Oh, I have a bug there. That wall is not supposed to be like that. There are no sharks out here. Uh, anyways, this is a little map I made. This is my first episode of RPG Maker XP, and it's going to be covering labels. I'll also go over this in RPG Maker VX Ace soon. But, um, yeah. Alright, so let's make a little dude here. Uh, action button. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, choose a cat girl. She's awesome. No. Alright, so, she says, Hello. Take the quiz. Not, not take the, the quiz. Take the quiz. Show choices. Yes. So, when yes... You're going to put a label here. Label. Name it Q1 for question one. Okay. Um. If grandma made ten cookies, five went to charity. I don't know if I spelled that right. I don't know why cookies would go to charity either, but you know what? They are, they are today. Uh, three were eaten and two were returned. How many cookies were left? Press F2 to see if that work it does. Okay. Wow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's stupid. Now we're actually going to have a number input here. Oh, where is, where is it? Where is it? Oh, input number. Now it's going to be one, obviously, one digit. And it's going to be stored in cookies variable. And we are going to do a conditional branch. And I will be right back. I am being called. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, so if variable cookies is equal to four, because it would be four. So you got you know, you got Hold on, let's do the math. Is it four? I think it's four. Hold on. Five, two, three, four. Yep. There's four. All right. Um, I don't know why I have to think about that for a second. But um, anyway, so if it's equal to four, I'm going to just a branch here. Then correct. Now, what we're going to do is on to the next question right here. But else, you say failed. Try again. Now, what we're actually going to do is, oh, never mind. No, right, we're just gonna do it like this. Okay, now you're gonna do jump to label. Label name, Q1. So let's see how that works, no? Just put us like a, like a frowny face for now. Okay, so let's do this. I really should've made, put the character like, yeah. <laughs> like the frowny face, all right. Quiz, yes. And it just instantly jumps to it, but um, see how like it doesn't restart the whole um, the whole conversation. Okay, <clears throat> now let's go to question two. You know, I know it said it's covering labels, but I think I'm gonna make this uh, episode how to make a quiz or something. Yeah, I think I should call it that. So we have Q1 as a label. Now we're going to underneath. That's correct. Oh wait, we gotta make the question thing first. So insert, we're going to do show choices, yes and no, and jump to label one, Q1 if yes. If no, we are going, see how I said when it, when it says when no? Add a label here, name it no. Just name it no. And when no, do jump to label, what no, er, er, jump to label, no. So now if you try that again, which I'm actually gonna move the player here. Make life a lot easier on us. 
A lot less time consuming. Hello, Teddy Quiz. Yes. No. And it jumps instantly to that one, despite the fact that it's in a completely different condition. Um, alright. So, the next question, right underneath, correct. Um, why did the chicken cross the road? We're going to have multiple choices here. Choices. It was hungry. It was bored. Chickens? I love chickens. Ah. Fine, we'll shorten it. Chickens. Donkey. You guys can have whatever you want. I'm just kind of being random. Now, the correct answer will be right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this because we're going to need that in a second. It was hungry. No. We say fail. Try again. Choice is yes no. But this time, we're going to do put a label right, right underneath correct. I forgot to label it. Q2. So now we have Q2 right underneath the correct, right before the next question. Now, we copied and pasted this. So just change Q1, press space to edit, by the way, to Q2. And jump the label now. Now, we copy this right here. It was born, and the donkey one. So the, the correct one, see, now, now three of them will be wrong. So the chickens, I love chickens, is the right one. So she's going to be like, yes. And then it goes to the next question. Or, or you can you can continue the questions. I'm sure you know how to branch them by now. Um, you know that's what I was doing here. Like oh, let's, let's start over. So when yes Q1, yeah, and if it's correct, which is four, Q2, watch chicken cross road, and whichever one was correct. If you want to add another question, since uh, right here, where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here, the chicken one. You, you know you would add yes, and then right underneath that you would add your next question, and so on and so forth. But um, let's just say that's that's all there is to it for now. Let's do this. Take quiz? Yes. Four. Correct. Why did the chicken cross the road? It was hungry. Fail. Try again? Yes. Why did the chicken cross the road? See how it jumps right back to the same question? How it was bored? Try again. And again, if you say no, it just does a frowning face and you gotta take the whole quiz again. Wait, what? Oh, the uh, apparently the variable got saved. Wait. Yep, it got saved. Okay. That's awesome. Chickens, I love chickens. Yes. And then the quiz ends. You can use this uh, actually for if you really want to make things challenging in your RPG, which uh, I recommend kind of doing this method because it would be really interesting to see if uh, anybody, for anybody who's making an RPG, it would be really amazing to see like throughout the game you're given random clues that you have no idea what they're about. And then all of a sudden, like you come across somebody and they quiz you on a bunch of random things that you. Now, they're not important, obviously. It, you can, it's a completely skippable event, but you can get a really good item if you notice the, the guy's clues. Like, for example, say, or girl, like, whoever you have as the quiz people. <clears throat> so, like, say you have somebody looking for, a, I don't know, like a warrior or something, and they, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know how to say it. How do I say it? How do I say it? All right, so he plays clues, like, randomly across the world. Uh, with no hints as to what they are or anything like that, but yet... I, I wish I knew what I was... I, I wish I knew, like, how to say what I was thinking of, but... I can't seem to think of it. Pretty much, though, it'd be an awesome thing to... Kind of have, like, a quiz person in an RPG to get really good items. So I recommend making a quiz person in RPGs to get really good items. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. This has been the RPG Maker... Hello, Camtasia. This has been the, the RPG Maker series, um, first episode. So, yeah, see you guys later.